may not be perfect, but the time has come for change. Opposition parties say despite challenges, the people of the DRC are ready and excited to head to the polls. The African Parliamentarians Association for Human Rights visited the country ahead of the elections to assess the situation on the ground. It's calling on President Cyril Ramaphosa, SADC, and the African Union to help ensure a successful, free and fair ballot. AFRIPA conducted the fact-finding mission earlier this month. The visit has been welcomed by DRC opposition parties. Elections were originally meant to be held in 2016, but will finally take place on December the 23rd. In Congo, people cannot wait. If election were to be held tomorrow, they could have gone in numbers. But what is also important is to outline, outline some kind of challenges that the DRC, even though we accept to go to election, it doesn't mean that the process is perfect. But the people are waiting. Parties acknowledge that despite this, there are challenges. What we've actually identified is that uh, out of the 40 million of registered voters, we've got about 10 million that are kind of fictive. They do not have fingerprints. So we can't, they can, like, this is the argument that the opposition is actually, actually putting on the table. They can actually take those 10 million and give them to anybody of their choice. And the other thing that we've also uh, heard from the opposition leaders is that uh, the CENI, which is the IC, the, the Electoral Commission, uh, are siding with the, 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 the ruling party. Despite these conditions, all concerned agree that elections are necessary. The involvement and visit from the AFRIPA was therefore welcomed and appreciated. We've been calling upon firstly our own president, Sul Ramaphosa, and also the SADC region, including the AU, to say an intervention needs to be made in the DRC before elections to encourage a multi-stakeholder engagement there so that the various stakeholders can have an opportunity to ventilate these issues, talk about these issues, and also be able to find common ground. In recent years, hundreds of members of the opposition in the DRC have been killed by government forces. The UN Security Council has also expressed its concern over the rise of poll violence. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Cape Town.